Bot in the house, everybody! Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and today we have the distinct pleasure of interviewing one of Singapore's most famous musicians! <laughs> Fart! Hey, 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 hey. Fart, welcome to Guitar Street. And uh, we are so happy to kickstart this interview series. Uh, in this interview series, you know, right, I try to interview uh, people that uh, people who are very influential but you may not know. So Fart is one person that is very 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 good and uh, as you can see in the intro playing, it's like amazing stuff. So Fat, why don't you uh, tell us a bit uh, about yourself, like say hello to everyone. Hi, hi, uh, um, audience of Guitar Street, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> First, I think this is a unique name, I, I love it. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah, you very much. Okay. And uh, thanks for having me. Mm. So, uh, I'm Fat, so uh, my surname is Q, so you can call me Fat Q. Fat Q? Yeah. Is, is that a deliberate thing? Like, are you like trying to troll all of us? No, no, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's my real name. Yeah, Q like, Q Yong yeah, Fat. Yes, my, right? my, 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 like, my, my, name on my side, Q Yong Fat. You realize tonight we sound like a full band, but it's actually only one person. His name is called Fat. His full name is Q Yong Fat. So, Q Yong Fat, remember this name, okay? First name is Fat, last name is Q. When you put together, it's Fat. Q. Uh, uh, I call myself like Fat Q, the one boy band. So mm. why, why? I think one of the questions is like why? Why the one, one, boy, boy, one boy band? Yeah. Uh, because like I, I, you can see my setup, right? So this like uh, I try to play, try to play the have an illusion like one man band. So this is like drums, then like the bass and the, the guitar and the keys. Okay, I, I need to introduce Fat a little bit more. So. Fat is a solo guitar extraordinary who is the winner of the 2008 Lee Guitars oh, Fingerstar Guitar. Well, that was like so long ago. Though. Yeah, uh, okay, so 2008 no. Lee Guitars Fingerstar Guitar Contest uh, and 2003 Bun Yi Guitar Fingerstar Guitar Contest. I want to really introduce everybody to Fat and what he does uh, because he there's a lot of things. Even though I'm a musician, but I still cannot really figure out sometimes like what he's doing. You are very versatile in accompanying vocalists but you're also a solo guitarist, right? You, yeah, you can yeah. also play. Mm -hmm. uh, and he has he has a lot of things that, he, that, he's, that he's doing, uh, you see. Uh? Yeah. Performance of his self-invented foot drumming. Okay, so foot drumming, you give us a bit of... Uh, oh, okay, so... Good. Right, so this is the foot drumming. Okay, and then next, you have electric guitar and bass tone equipped silent guitar. Yeah, right? so like uh, bass... Then the guitar... Together with that. Wow. So it really gives the gives the illusion. gives the illusion, or rather, I would say these are the components of a band, right? You uh, need yes, the drums, yes, correct, you need correct. the bass. Yeah. And many people don't know actually the drums with the bass is what really makes the live uh, live band yes, sound. Correct, right? correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I think uh, um uh I think a lot of uh uh um musicians today uh they when they do the live they have like um drums then they have guitar so uh I mean, my own opinion, but they're missing bass yeah really? yeah i think yeah. Like, like maybe uh they should explore like adding bass into guitar because like if you hear uh uh, uh i mean there there's a pop songs that without the bass for yes. example the prince when they subscribe okay that's an excellent song my favorite songs but i think most of pop songs like uh, uh you need the bass at the bottom so right. if you have drum guitar, right. so i think uh maybe they can try to explore that put in the Bass. Playing the bass. Yeah, yeah. But how do they do that? Like you do it with uh, uh, yeah. So pedal. for guitar, I mean, like the boss a lot of product that you can uh, let's say you use a normal guitar, mm. you can just buy. I think there's no octave pedal. Certain frequency they will just octave down. Mm. Or for myself, uh, I'm using this kind of hex pickup. This one you see here, like oh. one, two, three, four, five, six. So, uh, uh, then the, they will for for myself like I turn this two string. Uh, okay, there's a few effects that you can just like maybe these two uh, string they can One octave down. lower, yes. Yeah, so it sounds like illusion of bass. Yes. But uh, I used to do that uh, um, back in uh, uh, 2006 to maybe 10 or 11. Uh, after that, when I decided to incorporate this uh, drum, so I find that the octave thing is uh, maybe not so defined. I mean, because like uh, bass, you need that. Uh, uh, that, that, that attack part, like the transient part. 
the octave wow. don't have that part. So oh. uh, I decided to go for that uh, Roland technology. They have this VG virtual guitar technology. That, that so is that what to... you're doing? Yeah, yeah. so it, this oh, is like, they try to simulate. I mean, uh, to be honest, this is like maybe uh, uh, I'm not, not that good. But for me, because like if you go to live house or live venue, right, I mean, the, you are at the mercy of the sound system. Yes. So actually your, your equipment, I mean, you, you can have like fantastic, like good tone, but sometimes the, the house system, I mean, you compromise. Yes. So I think for this one, it's, uh, mm. for me, it's good enough, for my ears, good enough to like pass as a bass. Like. Yeah, it sounds yeah. quite like a bass. Yeah, so, yeah. so uh, uh, this is a Roland virtual bass. Using so, the computer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, using computer. Uh, no, no, use, use, use oh, using the synthesizer. Yeah. So okay. uh, they have like a uh, VG ninety nine. Like they started from like VG eight. Uh, I mean, you can go to the uh, just Roland VG technology. So they have like different yes. generation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then the uh, and uh, you this is a virtual bass. Virtual bass. I used to do octave, but now into this virtual bass. Virtual bass. Then, uh, and also this, you can see this is like acoustic guitar, but uh, it sounds like a uh, like I mean, uh. uh this is like virtual electric guitar, so you can have that. Oh, yeah, so, wow. Because like, I think when a little wing, ah, uh, <laughs> little, wow, wow, nice. little wing, ah, yeah, little song. <laughs> okay. okay, and and yeah, because when you have a drum, you try to emulate a band. So what what do you have in the band? So I mean, uh, uh, like old school format, you have like drums and you have bass and the guitar, right? So trio, rock band. So yes. uh, this is the basic. <laughs> Guitar, oh. yeah, so so uh, what I'm trying to uh, emulate wow. here. I, I I must really say it's very difficult to to play this thing together. I think my first time I fought uh, actually yeah. when I saw you up close yeah. was actually recently when oh. I went to Route sixty five. <laughs> Okay. Ah, that was that was when no because I've seen you playing before. Okay, right, okay. but I've never seen up close. Oh. I think when you see up close, ah, it's so much more, it's so much more incredible because then you can really see he's really doing everything. You know, he's drumming, he's playing, he's playing the guitar, uh, which is like really really amazing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Try. Try. Next, ah, next. Okay. okay. I want to talk about the guitar. Okay, so okay, you talked sure. us, talk to us about the. You told us about the drumming, yeah. the the bass, uh, the yeah. bass and the electric guitar. Yeah. Then this, what is it, guitar thing? Uh, this is by Starlab. So, uh, this is it's the layout is just like a uh, guitar. So you can see like six strings, six strings, right? Then uh -huh. the twenty four frets. Wow. Yeah, so it's the mod layout same, same yeah, as guitar. Yeah, because for, for me, um, uh, if I were to pick up um keyboards, right? Uh, then okay. By the way, okay. Let's say this is button, so I can play like a keyboard. So. So in order for me to play this on like normal uh, piano, bass, keyboards, right? So yeah. the learning curve is a lot. Yes. But this one, because the layout is guitar, six strings, like, like train four plus, right? Yes. Then I, I already know the where's notes. Wow. Yeah, is so, this similar to like tapping on the guitar? Uh, yes, yes, correct. But okay, the difference is like uh, the tapping, because when you play guitar, you uh, there's a, 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 a limited amount of physics. Because like you can't play two notes together but oh. here I can okay, okay. Wow. okay. Wow. yeah so uh, in fact uh, I mean Roland okay back to the Roland so I love Roland product so and Roland <laughs> please endorse me Roland Roland okay and okay. Oh, everything Roland huh? really yeah, yeah, yeah. and Yamaha also <laughs> and Ableton also hi Ableton. okay uh, if you play the guitar you are still playing a guitar like six strings Okay, the max is like you have six notes, but when you play a piano, right, you need more than that yeah, six notes, right? Mm. You can do like finger style, like independence, like low and uh, bass string and harmony, but it's, uh, it's still not true independence. So you want to emulate piano, you need to have the real independence, which is like left hand, the bass. Mm. So to do this is uh, very easy when you separate yes. but even do this kind of thing on the yes. finger so you have to arrange yeah, it. yeah yeah so it's like you it, need yeah. this kind of skill i mean yes it's fun to do but um it, there's a limitation of the, the thing so uh, uh i've been like following mid guitar since the, like back in the 90s mm. so i i think i bought uh, uh all of the midi guitar products since the 90s mm. so uh i come to the conclusion that uh 
if I want to explore more soft scene and MIDI side, right? Uh, for guitarists, I think this is the way to go. So now I wow. put my own on MIDI guitar gear uh, back in my closet. So I go to invest in the, the guitar thing. To me, it's like, uh, it's no brainer because like, you already know all the notes, right? Mm. So what you can do, left hand no problem because you know the chord. Mm. You just can learn that, uh, the, the right hand tapping. Like it's very easy. Say you play like D, so you just have a D shape. So you just want D shape. access to like billions of sounds like software developer have been developing it Gosh. yeah that keyboard at least having so much fun amazing for for, for <laughs> guitarists right, you only have like pedals like yes. effects like a couple of them yes yeah the m but you talk about soft scene right there's like unlimited like choice of the yes. uh, scene yeah but can you do us one more demo? Because oh, you know, sure. just now in the intro, you did the demo. Yeah. But over here, uh, maybe you can do one more demo slowly. Then you walk us through sure. what you are doing. I okay. think everybody is very keen to learn. Yeah, like sure. You start with the drumming or start with the guitar. Okay. Uh, you can uh, talk us through as you play. Are sure. you able to do that? Uh, yes. Um, normally, when I play like in a, a, a live setting, uh, like, like, for example, I take a ballad. For okay. So okay. I will start with like a, a piano because most of the, I mean, <coughs> ballad is like, uh, have a kind of sentimental kind of vibe. Okay. So maybe I will start with like <coughs> a piano. So uh, I use the guitar to like. Then maybe like you go to like a uh, uh, second verse or chorus. You can yes. add in like strings like. <coughs> By the way, the swing triggered by the pedal. Yeah, here. you're yeah. doing something. Yeah, so I mean, this is like uh, uh, this is like chicken feet for keyboardists. They have been doing this for like oh. like like uh, forever. Oh. So I just try to uh, copy the thing. Mm. So, uh, so actually, the so that's the volume of the, of the strings. Yeah, yeah. That so you're actually, toggling. the string is always playing in the background. It's just playing. That, uh, yeah, you just on yeah, or off. Yeah, on or off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like. Then uh, maybe the second part of the song, I will yes. come in with the drum. Like second verse or something. Yeah, second oh. verse. So yeah. I will just like maybe start with like a uh, more mellow kind of drumming with the uh, with bass. Uh, because I think when drums come in, you need to have the bass. So yes. uh, like... So instead of like, using the kick, the snare, I'm using the side stick. Side stick. Uh, yeah. Rim shot. Uh. Yeah, so yeah, 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 So when like there's a chorus, so we come with the snare. So when there's that bridge, or like you need to have a more wow. dramatic thing, so I can yes. kick with like distortion. layer of things so i uh, start with the piano then the adding string yes. so yeah uh, that uh, I mean, it's, it's just like um, you, you know you have four play before yeah. yes yes, yeah. yes yes so yes. just have layer of thing create layer yes. by layer so yes wow back, amazing everything. then just now you're in the distortion it's just a toggle is it from yeah, yeah 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 toggle so just toggle thing so uh there's a distortion so i turn on that distortion effects um, oh is it right. on your on your guitar yeah okay. so i map to the this oh. thing so I turn on that. Oh, so yes. So there's a lot of mapping. Uh. You're getting a map. Yeah, because uh, I mean, of, of course, like you can use forward, but because my, my feet is like occupied by the, the drum. drum. Yeah. So I have to like use the distortion. Oh. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, now we're going to switch topics. Right? Sure. We've learned a lot about parts incredible yeah. arsenal of tools i'm a i'm a fellow musician as well oh, okay. and i feel like we have so much to learn from from you right, right? so one, other, yeah. one one of the things that i noticed is that mm. you don't use any chord sheets oh okay can you can you tell us a bit about that like uh how do you navigate your way through the different songs and then do you do you play wrongly do you are you